All right, so I'm gonna attempt to repair the fan on this HP Pavilion laptop, model 15-CS0064ST. All right, so this fan makes like some loud like sounds, and like if you smack it, sometimes you can get it to stop. We're gonna remove these screws holding the fan in place. If you're gonna do this and you don't know what you're doing, you might wanna also remove the laptop battery to be safe. <clears throat> All right, I do have a video showing how to take this apart or open it up and look at the inside of the computer but anyway so once we get those three screws out you can see we can lift this fan up we're gonna disconnect this here so I just use my fingernails there and pull that out here we go I'm gonna set this aside okay and let's see how this fan is held in, held together so Looks like it's held together with these melted plastic bits, so this is going to be kind of a difficult one to repair, but we'll see what we can do. Alright, we got a razor blade here, and we're just going to cut these um, plastic parts off. Hopefully you can see. Alright, if this doesn't work, then obviously we're going to have to get a replacement fan, but we'll see what we can do. Alright, so we'll cut that off. we got another one down here. Okay. Cut that off careful not to cut your fingers. As you can see, I'm cutting with a slicing motion, not just pushing straight at it. So I'm going to go like slicing it like this. Okay. Three. What else? So we got two more here. So we got this one. Okay. And the last one here. Hopefully this fan will be repairable. Um, sometimes the propeller blades are stuck on there and we can't repair it, but we'll see what we can do. All right, hopefully you were able to see me cut all of those off. Um, I don't know if I went out a few of the camera, but let's see. We'll zoom out. All right, oops. After we've cut all those off, we should be able to remove this. So we'll pull on this. Let's see, did I miss any? Looks like we got them all. Okay, let's go ahead and pull from this side. There you go. You can see it's lifting up. And you want to be careful not to bend this. So we'll just continue going around. Okay, and lifting this off. Did I not cut it far enough on this one? Okay, I think I didn't cut this one all the way. So we'll cut that one a bit more. Okay, there we go. All right, so there we go. We cut that all the way off, and you can see we can take this metal plate off. We are going to re-secure it with some tape, but for now we'll take that out. <clears throat> all right, next thing we're going to do, we got to get these propellers off. Hopefully they'll come off. So usually if you can, you want to go towards the center of the blades. Let's see if we can actually just pull it straight up. And no, we cannot. So this design, we're probably not going to be able to repair, but we'll try, all right? So the fins here are actually very small. Normally I would get in there and then push with my fingers or my fingernails on the bottom to pop it out, but it doesn't seem to be working. So let me see how I can do this. Hmm. Maybe with some magnets or some clay. I have a little tray with magnets that I can kind of use. So let me see if I can do this real quick. So tray with magnets in it. We're going to use that to kind of hold some screwdriver bits to help push from the bottom here. Um, but the problem is the area of this is very small. So I don't know if we're going to be able to pop this one out, but we'll find out. Okay. Maybe with some flathead screwdriver bits, we're going to have to use it to kind of push on the edge in there. Okay. Okay, maybe with two flathead screwdriver bits, I might be able to do this without even the magnets. So we're going to get two of our larger flathead screwdriver bits. And you want to go like side by side like this. Okay. All right. And then let's see here. Thing is, you want to get under close to the center, the outer ring. Okay. And we'll see if we can somehow get this out. So I'm going to push both of them at the same time while holding this and see. And there we go. It popped out. Okay. So we were able to get the fan out. That's good. All right. Luckily, let's see here. Just 
Okay, so next thing we gotta do, we gotta add some grease into this. The grease is old and bad. Usually what happens is moisture gets into it and then messes it up and then the fan starts sticking to it and that, that's what causes it to buzz like that. Um, let me go get my bottle of oil and I'll be back, but basically we're just gonna put some oil into here and then put that in, spin it around. Um, I'm not gonna drop, click it all the way in yet. Put the oil in, spin it, take it back out, clean it a little bit more, and then we will take that out. Um, but yeah, let me find my bottle of oil. We'll do that and then we should be good. Um, you just put like motor oil in it. You don't need to put anything like, um, don't put like WD-40. WD-40 is not a good lubricant. Okay, so yeah, a lot of people, I don't know, they use WD-40 as a lubricant. It's not a lubricant. All right, let me go get the oil and I'll be back. All right, I'm back. I'm just using some regular motor oil from my car. Um, again, if you're going to use something, <clears throat> make sure it's something designed for moving parts, okay? You don't want to just use random stuff. You don't want to put cooking oil or anything like that. Um, if you don't have a bottle of motor oil, you can just go to your car, pull the dipstick out, get some oil from there. But basically, I'm going to just dip this bent out paper clip um, to get a drop of oil. And we're going to drop it in there. Oops, I kind of dropped it off center. We're going to have to clean that up. Okay, so we'll just clean that out. Alright. Okay. Let's get another drop of oil because that one didn't work too well. Okay, and we'll just get it right in there. Alright, then we go ahead and get this piece. Actually, one other thing you want to do. <clears throat> You want to clean the old oil off of this. Okay, and just use a paper towel like that. And you can see there's a little bit of grayness to it, but yeah. All right, let's get this in. Spin that around a little bit. I can already tell it's already good. I probably should have spun it for you guys to hear in the beginning, but there we go. We're going to wipe this out. Okay, and you should get a little more oil there that in again spin it again okay clean that up some more all right then we'll put a little bit more oil in there there we go all right okay so now that we're done with that we'll just take the fan propeller blades and click it back on just like that and you can see it spins well. Okay. And the way you know the fan is good, I don't know if you saw that, but at the end of the spin, it kind of wobbles back and forth. You can see that if I pull it down, see it wobbles back and forth. That's because the magnetic field kind of helps it like wiggle like that. And that's how you know it's good. We're just gonna put this thing back on. Okay. Click that all into place and this actually should hold itself on um, but if you want to make sure it doesn't fall out if you like drop your computer or something we're going to use some tape here and we're just going to tape it up all right oh, i actually need to get my scissors so let me do that i'll be back all right i'm back so pretty straightforward <clears throat> just get a piece of tape here all right we don't need too much so i'm just going to cut it about there Oops, I got some lint stuck to it, but all right, we're just going to cut a piece like this. Okay, and then we just need to wrap over some. So we're going to cut a strip like that to make a little really thin one. All right, and then we'll just wrap it over. So just go like this, stick that on, and then just wrap it over the edges, obviously. Okay, and you can do this all around if you want. You don't need to really secure it that tight. Okay, usually I just put it close to where the where these little melted plastic bits were, and that's plenty. But if you want, you can put more. It doesn't hurt. Okay, get another one here. Flip it over. 
right, just like that. Probably need a longer, short, skinny one for this. And that should hold it. You can't open it anymore, so that's good. Since I have all this excess, I'll just stick it right here, because why not? All right, so there we go. So we got that fan all good to go. We just got to put it back together, and we should be good. All right, so let's grab the laptop here. All right, get this all lined up. Get that lined up and then pinch that in. All right, then we're just gonna get these screws back in, obviously, put the laptop back together and we should be good to go. All right, I like to loosely fit the screws first to make sure all of them line up. Once you get it all lined up, I like to pull it closer to the heat sink and we'll just tighten this down. one right luckily those fan propeller blades didn't take too much force to rip off sometimes they're really difficult to get out then we're gonna just open it up whoa this is really dusty and powered on and the fan should be silent you can see the fan spinning and it's really quiet so that's pretty much it again hopefully this video helped you guys out thanks for watching and i'll see you all in the next one all right let's drop this spike